you. Well, this is getting off to a great start. Do you know how badly you screwed up my life? The Harry Potter fan club won't even read my fan fiction. It's nothing personal. It's very personal. It's the most personal. Steve. Oh, thank God. This isn't over. The Dark One will rise. Is everyone here as crazy as you? So you made it. Hey, thanks for tapping me, Ali. I've always wanted to be in a senior society. Yeah, I mean, everyone does. We work really hard to make people feel bad about not being our friends. One thing, how am I eligible for this as a senior? There's only a month of school left. Well, we're exclusive during the year, but post-graduation, anyone can join to increase donations. Is there anything specific I should say? No, just stick to what we discussed, that you just founded a new newspaper, that you are focused on high quality intellectual journalism, and I don't know, is there anything else you want to add? Actually, my grandma- oh, Great, great, okay, let's go meet people. Charles. Allie. This is Steve. He is a journalism major. He has a 3.8 GPA, and he is the editor of the new paper. Well, isn't that nice? Uh, this is Charlie, and uh, he just beat Call of Duty on medium difficulty, so... Thanks. Yeah. I'm only a man. <laughs> right? Great! Well, you guys should get to know each other. Kaka. So... What do you guys do around here? Oh! Check out the sweet hams in that shopping cart. Express lane, please, am I right? Boom! Ooh. Right there. <laughs> oh, but check out that fresh produce over in the corner. I'm talking about guaranteed fresh. Am I right? Mm. <laughs> guaranteed fresh. So you guys are really into grocery shopping? <laughs> if by grocery shopping you mean shopping for ass, then yes. We like to tap the tap, right? Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, boy. So uh, how about you, man? Uh, you've been a quiet shopper. You see any uh, solid price checks? Over there. Oh. She's uh, pretty tasty. Okay. I'd like to put her in my hand cart. Oh. Two for one deal. Yeah. Expired milk. Mm. Ketchup. I don't know where I'm going with this. Expired milk. So, so Jeff, why are you here? I'm the editor of the new. No, 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 no. no. I mean, why are you in? Why do you want to be in? Arrows. Well, I've always wanted to be in a senior society, and there's a lot of successful people here. And actually, my grandpa. Oh, check out that fully stocked shelf! I want to see what that one is! Oh, oh, yes! Oh, oh, he gets me every time! Whoa! This guy, that's why he's. Take that! Oh my god, what a tap. <laughs> Who do you think is cute here? It's pretty. <laughs> so, are you guys BFFs? More like prison cellmates. Oh, great, okay. Well then, more introductions. This is my roommate, Jess. <laughs> and she is the president of the campus's UFO, the United Feminist Organization. We're out of this world. <laughs> ah, clever. Sexist. Okay, well, the ceremonies are starting now, so keep trying to talk to people. Hey, guys. Ew. Welcome everyone to the oldest, secretest, and Egyptianist senior society, Pharaohs. There are a few people I'd like to quickly thank for making tonight so magnificent. First, the great music you hear is courtesy of Mickey Valley and the self-censorships. Thank you. Now, as is custom, at every smoker, we'd like to show you a brief presentation on our organization's storied history. In 1602, we you were know, shut my, down uh, for cannibalism. You know, my grandfather was. And then, in 1602, we were shut down for cannibalism, and man, we're just <laughs> old. Now, Pharaohs is overseen by a grand wizard bishop who's sort of a pharaoh of pharaohs. <laughs> However, recent developments have occurred. Christopher McFeely, current Mid-Atlantic Mime Champion, has just lost in near-mortal combat for the right to rule pharaohs as Grand Wizard Bishop. Ladies and gentlemen, the new Grand Wizard Bishop.
Oh, shit. What the hell? I didn't know. That's right, Steve. Nobody knew. Until it was worth knowing. To know. But how? It wasn't hard. All I did was lock him in his own box. I don't understand your dedication to destroying Steve. my life. Steve. Not here. Not now. Save our conflict for the Sorting Hat. Is everything a Harry Potter reference to you guys? Yup, suck it, Muggle. Too fat. Too skinny. Too racist. How'd you know? The Sorting Hat sees many things in your past. Please, just get this over with. Why did you start a second school newspaper? Because I believe in quality journalism. Lies! The Sorting Hat sees your actual reasons. Jealousy. More jealousy. What? You were pissed you'd lost the editorship to me, so you started a second paper to satiate your perverted need for revenge. You don't care about quality journalism. This whole operation is just therapy! You can't say that! Admit you're only doing this to get back at me! Is that true, Steve? Of course not. Well, maybe just a little. But just a little. Allie, I swear this newspaper is something that I want to do. Yeah. You want to get revenge. I'm sick of you constantly manipulating people. I don't care that you're Grand Wizard Bishop. I'm not gonna let you lock us in invisible boxes. <gasps> oh, thank God, you know how long I've been- Oh, no, no, no! Don't do that, I don't- Don't, don't let him do it. Don't let him. I'm glad I never became editor, because then I would have turned into you. I didn't want to be in this stupid society anyways. Really? Not even for your grandfather? What do you know about my grandfather? Class of 1949, business major, Beta Rho Omega Fraternity, and... Grand Wizard Bishop of Pharaohs. So you did your research. Yeah, I thought this would be a great way to honor his legacy. Honor what? His Pharaoh's legacy. What legacy? According to our records, he was never a member. At least, not until last night when a fire burned a significant portion of our records, or the part of our records that had your grandfather's certificate. Did you? Did you burn my grandfather's certificate? I didn't do anything. The fire did everything. You're sick. I told you this before, Steve, but it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. And I'm part correct. You know, I'll admit that revenge had been part of the equation. But after tonight, that's over. I'm done caring about you. Or even thinking about you. So all I have to say is, clean up on aisle seven. There it is! Oh! Yes! Oh! Yes! Oh! Oh! Yes! Yeah! Oh! Sugar! Sugar! Oh! Sugar! Oh! 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 Yes! Oh! Oh! <laughs> How you doing? You're so mean! Crap. Are you all gonna come at me now? No. Actually, quite the opposite. Sexist. It's Pharaoh's doctrine. Your new Grand Wizard Bishop! That's a crazy story, man. So what ended up happening to your grandfather's records? Turns out there's a national database. I just ordered a new copy. That's great, man. He'd be really proud of you. Thanks. Although, I think he'd be most proud knowing that I'm doing what I love. Or, at least I hope he would. What do you mean? Well, on the way back from the Pharaoh's archives, I tripped on someone. So when I met the guy, he looked at me and told me that he had skull my dog. So then we 
both went to the park and we stole someone else's dog and I don't really remember the next three weeks. All I do know is I woke up in a country where they sold <laughs> currency and that I had three. <laughs> Anybody want to see a picture of my <laughs>